Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to calculate the absolute magnitude of a star that is closer than 10 parsecs or 32.6 light years away from us if we know the distance to the star and the apparent magnitude. All right, in this case, we're going to take Sirius, which we know is closer to us than 10 parsecs. We know the distance is 8.6 light years, and we know that the apparent magnitude is equal to minus 1.46, so we write m sub app for apparent magnitude, and we're going to try to figure out the absolute magnitude. We're going to follow the exact same steps as we did in the previous video. First of all, we're going to take the distance and divide it by the standard distance of 32.6 light years to get the df, which is called the distance factor, right here. And so we get 8.6 light years, the actual distance of the star, divided by 32.6, and we get that distance factor. Then, as before, we take the distance factor squared to get the luminosity factor, and then to find the difference in the magnitude between the absolute and the apparent magnitude, we take the natural log of the luminosity factor divided by the natural log of 2.512. And again, if you're curious where that came from, we use this right here. Of course, I'm using different numbers here. Uh, because, uh, let's see here, let's, hmm, 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 well, we'll leave that alone. That's, that was the same example that we used in the previous time, which is, again, the way we calculated, the way we find x or the delta m is to go to this process. It doesn't matter what numbers we use. So, finally, we get the delta m by taking the fraction of the natural log of the luminosity factor divided by by the natural log of 2.512, which gives us negative 2.89. That's the difference in the magnitude between the apparent and the absolute magnitude for Sirius. And then to find the absolute, we take the apparent minus the difference. So the apparent is minus 1.46, which was known, minus the difference we just calculated, and we get the absolute magnitude. That would be the magnitude that Sirius would have if we place Sirius 10 parsecs or 32.6 light years away. And that is how it's done. What's so funny? I know, I forgot to erase it and redo it, but it doesn't matter. Same one. 